Hello everyone, this is Blue Thunder Fan Racing, and this is the INRL Insomniac Elite Series. Today, we are at the Ohio Motor Speedway for the fourth round of the season. And in the, in the last race, well, that was quite something. Massive wreck, there was a massive wreck in that race involving James Shelley, and the interesting story is, James Shelley, still on the racetrack. He, he is running, he is racing out here today, but... He did get away unscathed. He um he has a broken wrist and he actually broke his wrist and he's been driving on a broken wrist. He's been trying to drive on a broken wrist all week and he's actually not been that he's actually not been that he's actually not been doing that badly. He didn't qualify well, but he was but he was actually fastest in practice. However, let's get down to the track where Ezekiel Proctor, who is still second in points, is starting on the pole. This is a, this gets him five bonus points. He really needs those. And next to him is Pichu London, who's been struggling so far. Row number two, we have Chris Washer, another of these struggling Taga racing units. And then next to him is Alex Hawkins, the independent. Very surprised, very good at qualifying. As this is his third, as he's been starting in the top ten every week. Row number three, we have Reese Black, who has been struggling. And 10th uh, in points, Brandon McGuirt. And then, uh, row number... Uh, sorry, I'm blanking out here. Row number four has uh, PJ Williams and Brandon Wood. And then right at your top ten is DJ Curtis and Drew Austin. And here's the rest of your lineup. And there you go. With that, let's get those engines fired. Here we go, Ezekiel Proctor leads us to the green. Fuel Brothers Racing has been one of the strongest teams of the season so far. And Ezekiel Proctor is no exception, he's probably been one of the best. As he's going to lead the field of the green, we're green, we're rocking in Ohio! Racing, short track racing for 75 laps. After the high, after the high speed madness of the, of the last three races, we're going back to some old school short tracking here at Ohio, as Proctor will lead the first lap. Chris Washer will move in the second. Reese Black is in third. We got a battle for fourth here between Hawkins and London. Looks like Hawkins will get the spot. Now PJ Williams looks under his teammate for fifth. Meanwhile, in the back, John Johnson's already fall, fallen off the pace. The cars have been really flying around this racetrack. Oh, four wide! Four wide Ohio! Oh, boy, it's not going to end well. Oh, crap! Crap! Wow, that was amazing! Four wide! Oh, Maxwell Chan getting real close to the 18, and Chris Seagor, points leader, running up of other drivers. Oh, wow, this is a huge cluster of cars here. Four wide, four wide racing in Ohio, and it's working! But Chris Igor really needs to be careful. This is his first short track race. And, he, and again, he really needs to be more careful. It can be real easy to get into trouble here. As we move back up to the front here, Proctor still holding the lead. Oh wait, never mind. Chris Washer just dove underneath him. Washer takes the lead. You know, Alex Hawkins moves in the third. He's only got one point on his record, despite his amazing qualifying efforts. He really, he could really use this run. Good, 
Alex, good form for Alex Hawkins. He is flying right now. Really, Taga Racing is looking pretty strong right now as a whole. Taga Racing as a whole is looking pretty strong right off the bat here. Washer, not only is he leading, but he's got the fastest lap as well. As we're already coming upon lap car John Johnston. There he is, that really slow 98 car. Uh, Washer, Washer made a little contact with the 98, sends him up his course, and they go right around him. This is going to be the first time that Johnson's really been lapped on track. Oh yeah, we're only on lap 10. We're only on lap 10 and Johnson's already gone a lap down. Oh wow, look at this. Chris Igor running way in the back here, he's in 34th place. This is not what he needed. He needs to pick up the pace. He is a points leader. However, his points rival, Ezekiel Proctor, just took the lead back from Chris Washer. And of course, he's starting the pole, so that's five bonus points right there, and he's looking real strong out here today. The Daytona winner, Proctor, he's really been trying his hardest. A lot of drivers have been struggling so far this season, running really well right now. Especially Avis Rapax, who just moved into 6th place. The Swede, having a great run so far in that really ugly GoDaddy car. Seriously, killing the fire. Rapax, but anyway, Rapax doing very nice right now. Dylan Young right in front of him. Got some nice, clean racing going on right now. Here is the other two Hamilton Autosport cars of Sean Angel and Seth Cole. Seth Cole, I mean, these two are in the points battle. I believe Seth Cole, I believe Sean Angel's fourth in points while Seth Cole is in fifth. Well, actually, I think it's the other, wait, no, I think it's, I actually think Cole is fourth and Angel is fifth. But either way, Hamilton Autosports is doing really well so far this season despite the troubles of James Shelley. Of course, Seth Cole won out last week. He is looking to to our repeat on those efforts. There's Norman Miller. He had a good, he did well at Daytona, but he hasn't picked, done much since. Trying to, trying to get some points. You know, Proctor's retaking the lead, as, and James Shelley's now in 34th place. Shelley really seems, Shelley is not running very quickly right now. But that's coming to be expected as, as I said in the pre-race, James Shelley is racing on a broken wrist. He's trying to drive on a broke, try, trying to drive with a broken wrist. So, really, it's amazing that he's even managing to keep up with the field. You know, Chris Igor trying to make his way forward as he passes fellow points rival Jeffrey Finguy, who could have taken the points lead at Texas, but he had to come down pit road. Who currently holds a final point spot. Currently holding a final point spot. The driver holds the final point spot right now is Alex Hawkins. Boy, he's really dropped since the start. But Brandon McGort's going underneath him. McGort wants the points. McGort wants to get back in the points here. Oh, uh, there's Ryan Acosta. He's one of two drivers who uh, has not scored points yet this season. He and Avis Rapax have are still sitting on zero points. Although Rapax is in fifth place if Johnson gets lapped again. Meanwhile, Ezekiel Proctor running real well right now. Race going by pretty race is already going by pretty quickly. We're already about a quarter of the way through here. So there will probably be pit stops. Wow. 24 laps. And John and John Johnson has already fallen behind two laps. Just shows just shows you how slow he is. His fastest lap is a full second off the pace of the fastest lap, which is being held by Ian Dutta, who is pretty deep in the field actually. Dutta had a good run at Texas, but he's not but he's not showing that same speed right now. Wow, Johnston, he is really falling behind. 
driver is just passing him one after the other. Oh, Hawkins makes contact. And, oh, and, and Johnston is now holding up Noah Hart in the 47. Noah Hart has not had the greatest season so far. Or, uh, but, I don't know. He does have the distinction of having the sexiest car in the field, the Spiral Crash Bandicoot car. I really love this paint scheme. This is, for def this is definitely my favorite paint scheme in the field. And it's, it's really unfortunate that Noah Hart hasn't been able to uh, do better with this car. The Flying Bandicoot, as I like to call him, he's really hoping to get some good runs later in the season. Meanwhile, his teammate Proctor still leads. Proctor has really dominated so far. We got a flyby camera here. Look at that, Johnson is already about, is already getting ready to put a third lap down. That 98 car is really slow. Johnston doesn't know what the heck he's doing. And he's about to go a third lap down and we're not even halfway. And there's no damage on that car either. That's a completely clean car, not having any mechanical problems or anything. He's just slow. And there's Chris Washer. Washer really needs to all the Taga Racing Units are really needing these points. But the Taga Racing Unit has really struggled so far this season, but... All, all four of their drivers are running in the top ten right now. And three of them are in the top five. So that, so that team is having a much needed good run right now. And there's DJ Curtis, he's way down on the points as well. Not much going on at the front there, as uh, both the KSIs are way in the back. The 7 and the 28. KSI has had a really bad start to the season. Well, uh, Kyle Sanofsky has done well, has done decently well, but... He's done relatively well, but... Ryan Acosta, no points to his name yet. And let's get back, let's go back to where the final point is, pink spot is. I'll be held by Charles Sanford, who is in the top 10 in the standings, and I believe he's 7th. There's, well, there's 6th in the points right there. Connor Atwood in the 33. Really, really doing a great job so far. And then there's, and then there's a surprise in Connor Breton. Breton running 15th right now. He is 9th in the points. Nobody expected him to do well, but 9th in points, doing really well. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Dylan Young's really dropped back here as Cosmic Nova goes underneath him. Actually, no. Cosmic Nova is 7th. Cosmic Nova is 7th in the points. One out at Atlanta. Wrecked at Texas. I believe he wrecked at Daytona as well. Yeah, he did. <laughs> so he's gotten... So his record is 2 DNS and a win. But he's looking real quick right now. Looking pretty good right now. Alright, back up to the front. As I said before, really tame. Proctor appears to be breaking away from from the rest from the Togger racing units of Chris Walsh from PJ Williams. As Johnston is getting ready to put to be put another lap down. And we're only just, and they're only just now start, starting to approach some of, some of these other cars here. Proctor really going really quick right now. Man, I can't say enough about how how fast Proctor has been. Juan Daytona ran well at Atlanta before he got wrecked, and then well he didn't get much of a chance at Texas. But here he is, but he's second in the points. Really? really re he really want to get the points lead here. And at this at this pace, he will definitely get it. As his points rival, Chris Igor, is way in the back. 
currently currently not running the point. You know, Washer still trying to close in, but he gains a little lap time by. We might we may be approaching pit stops before this race is over. Wait, where's Johnston? Wow, Johnston. Well, I don't remember when he got passed, but... Yeah, he's got a four flap down now. Proctor is starting to come... Closing, is closing on the lap traffic here. Pro, starting with his teammate, Jacob Hart. Yeah, I can see him, you can see him on the screen there. There's Jacob Hart in the 23. James Shelley racing on that broken wrist, and then there's William Duncan, and Nasa, and, and there's the two KSIs, and, uh, and there's two of the Wrecking Balls. Chris Igor in a points leader, and Maxwell Chan in that, in that 07 car. Maxwell Chan is the one driver on the Wrecking Ball team that's actually not done that well. He's had a rather mediocre start to the season. I don't, I don't say mediocre. He's had a Maxwell Chan has had an average start to the season, but this race has really gone by fast. We are actually, as we actually now have 20 laps to go, as we actually now have 25 laps to go, I believe. Yes, 25 laps to go. And there's Jim Shelley. Washer gonna be able to do anything about Proctor. Oh, there's John Johnston again. Boy, I'm not really surprised. About to go a fifth lap down. As James Shelley appears to be falling behind. Bosch is still trying to catch up, but that 93 is very strong. Here we Johnson gets lapped again. Johnston really struggling. Man, Proctor getting really close to lap traffic here. We're pro we're we're getting we're getting near the end of the race here. We're approaching the end of the race. Remember, there may be pit stops. Wow, Washer and Proctor the same exact lap time last time. Pretty tame race out here at Ohio. Pretty tame race so far. I'd say we actually kind of needed that after the madness that's been going on the past three races. So it's actually kind of nice to have a tame race once in a while. Proctor still trying to catch up to James Shelley. Shelley's actually being a real, real tough to pet, catch up to. Actually having a lot of trouble catch up to the lap traffic is Proctor. As we now have 15 laps to go. Getting near that 10 to go mark. And drivers have not pitted yet. Another lap, another lap knocked off. He's getting there. He's getting there that lap traffic. PJ Williams though, he's faster than both of these guys up here. Oh, 
Oh, DJ Curtis, there he is. He's really trying to catch up here. Curtis, trying to get me going here. And Proctor's caught to the 98, and, and passes him without a problem. Washer getting held, is getting held up by the 98. And PJ Williams is looking on the 41, and there he goes. PJ Williams is going to use the 98 car as a pick to take second place. As we now have nine laps to go. Proctor has dominated this race. He could be looking at a he could be looking at the first perfect 70 in the, this season. A, per, a perfect 70 is when you get the pole, lead the most laps, and you win the race. Because 60 points wins the race. You get 60 points for winning, five for a pole, five for leading the most laps. That gets you a perfect seven. So that get you a perfect 70 points. Proctor could be set to gain 70 points on Chris Igor right now, and that that will give him a massive points lead. Proctor's been nearly unstoppable so far this season. And I, don't, and I don't see him being I don't see him being denied. DJ Williams there he is, he's trying, he was faster last time. Let's see where we are now. Nothing. Williams can't really get anything going here. He's got five laps to go. Washer, meanwhile, has dropped back to fifth. Running behind Avis for Pax now. For Pax, getting some much needed points. And so is Sean Angel. He's he's running a tenth. He could really he's looking to gain a set to gain a lot of points in the battle, in the battle for the championship here. Bro, three laps to go. Proctor still hasn't caught the 18. Go off of four for one, one more time. Two laps to go. Proctor, it's gonna, it's, something's gonna have to happen in order to take the victory away from him. Okay, he's looking set to win. Here we go, white flag is in the air! Oh, there's Johnson, he holds up the 18! However, Johnson won't affect the results! Here, off the foul corner, Ezekiel Proctor! He's going to take his second win of the season here in Ohio! Ezekiel Proctor takes the victory in dominating fashion! And we're in four rounds in, and Ezekiel Proctor already has two victories! Congratulations to him. Second is PJ Williams. Third is DJ Curtis. Fourth is Avis Rapax. Amazing effort for him. Fifth is Chris Washer. Sixth, Nick Pericles. Seventh, Norman Miller. Eighth, Brandon Wood. Ninth, Peachy London. And Sean Angel rounds out the top ten. Very tame race out here at Ohio. Nice change of pace from the madness that was happening the past three races. Congratulations on Ezekiel Proctor. Congratulations, congratulations to Ezekiel Proctor and Fuel Brothers Racing for, uh, for for taking their second victory of the season. So second win so early in the season. That was a that, that was a real quick one. Be sure to stick around next week where we're going to be heading to Savannah for a double header race. This you, here comes the results and standings. You've been watching a production of the INRL Racing Uncontained. See you next time. <laughs>